Okay guys, so let me tell you what's going on here today. Today I'm out here at Lake Cumberland. It's the final day for my, the big FLW tournament. It's day three on a Saturday. I know y'all aren't watching it on a Saturday, but as of right now it is a Saturday. And uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna fish a little bit now, come back for weigh-in, watch weigh-in and everything. We are gonna fish today and we're also gonna watch the weigh-in, which should be really, really cool. So it is still pre-spawn. I've been keeping up with day one and day two. A little bit and all the people that's fished it's mainly said it's pre-spawn the tournament started out with 161 people and by day three it's been narrowed down to 20. 20. that's pretty crazy so and then there's one of them right here so yeah we're gonna go out there try to find some spawning areas and then we'll move a few stages back and try to get those pre-spawners that there's jimmy houston okay so jimmy over there he w we passed him for about two minutes and he caught a fish within that two minutes. I decided I'd just come back here and see if I can catch any pre-spawn back in this little bitty cut on the fairly big main lake. But hopefully they'll be in here pre-spawning and, and I can get in here and maybe catch them with this crankbait. But we may have to change. I believe that there should be some fish in here. We just not got any bites or any any real sign of fish yet but from what my mind says i believe there should be fish in these little main creek pockets like this okay so it's about midday dad's hung in a tree straight up above him and did you get it loose all right he got it loose but you know we've got no fish we've been back here in pockets we've tried main lake pockets we've main we've tried back in the creek We've tried aim back in the creek pockets. We've not got any bites. We talked to one guy. He said it's just a really tough day today, but I'm gonna take me a little lunch break. I just really wanna see what the pros do. If it's a hard day for me, I wanna see if it was a hard day for them. Number one tip if you get bored or kinda depressed when you're fishing, number one tip for you is bring you some food because it'll really, really make your day a whole lot better. I promise. We've regrouped here. We took us a little snack. We've been fishing those pockets all day. No luck at all. Thinking about maybe heading out to Main Lake a little bit, fishing some big old rocks. Maybe try to get a smallmouth. I don't know. We're going to go do something different because what we've been doing all day ain't been working. Oh, it's a bluegill. Well, guys, the GoPro wasn't on until, you know, I got it. But I caught this bluegill on a jerkbait. We have moved out here to main lake sort of stuff. This is where we saw Jimmy fishing and he caught one. So I figured, hey, may as well go try it. But, you know, caught a bluegill. Okay, well, long story short, we went the whole day without getting even a single bite. I guess what we figured out is that the largemouth aren't biting today. That's what I think. My prediction is that there'll be a whole lot of smallmouth in this way in But, you know, that's just what I think. I'm probably wrong, though. Had 17 1 on day one, great start. 11 13 yesterday. Had him in 17th place with 28 pounds and 14 ounces of Cumberland Lake Bass. He's got five today. Limit of bass for Gary Yamamoto. The Gary Yamamoto. Five worth. Eight pounds even. Does move you up to fourth place. Okay, so I was actually wrong about that. That tournament is actually four days long and the top ten advanced to tomorrow. Tournament's already over by the time you watch this. I didn't get much video of the weigh-in. I really do apologize for that. After listening to everybody that weighed in, they basically, all of them, went up towards the dam. Me, I was fishing down by the river. Now, there was actually one pro that did fish down by the river. He lost today. I really do think I was doing the right thing. I really do think I was fishing the way to catch fish, just maybe at the complete wrong end of the lake. And that was a big problem. Which the other end of the lake is 60 miles. Cause that boat's top speed is like 50. And that's like running it wide open. 
their boats, their boats can go 75, 80, just like that, no problem. Yeah, to be honest, guys, I really do think I was doing the right thing, just in the wrong spot. But the number one thing about fishing is that you better learn to enjoy fishing, not catching, because there's going to be a whole lot more fishing than there ever, ever will be catching. And boy, is my face red. Oh, my gosh. But anyways, I'm going to get off here and check back on Wednesday at 3 o'clock with my new posting schedule. I'll see you later, guys.